All right, so in this video, what we're going to be covering is getting a figure from R into Microsoft Word into APA style based on the seventh edition. So with R up here on the left side of my screen, I have a simple graph. On the y-axis, I have heart rate for some individuals during a cycling workout, and then the intensity of the cycling workout being either low, medium, or high intensity along the x-axis and also represented with the color of the bars the mean values graph, and then the standard deviation of the heart rates are represented with the air bars. And so I want this figure over into my document. First thing I'm going to have to do is export this figure over here, come to export. Now I'm just going to go to the copy to clipboard method. Now when you have a graph you want it to have in a reasonable aspect ratio that it doesn't sort of construe or twist the information. Um, Generally, anything from like a 5 to 3 ratio, so I'm going to go 500 to 300 pixels, works fairly well. Okay, You could take it up to like a 600 to 300 ratio, but that's as far as you want reasonably for, say, a uh, landscape orientation. Um, but 500 to 300 or a 5 to 3 ratio it is pretty reasonable. You could also put it into portrait orientation with roughly those same guidelines where it's been in 300 to 500. Although in this case, I do think the 300 to 600 looks a little better in most cases if it lets you take it that far. We'll go ahead and we'll throw it into the portrait orientation with 500 to 300 and update that there. And we'll go ahead and copy this plot. And then it's a simple matter of pasting it with a picture. So now I've got my actual figure over here in Microsoft Word. Now an APA style figure needs to have several components. First, it has to be numbered sequentially with all the other figures. It needs to have a title and then it needs to have a note which roughly corresponds to a figure caption. So if we go ahead of this and above it, we then in bold an APA style specific about that would sequentially number it. This is our first figure, so we'd name it figure one. Hit enter once. And now in italics, I want the title of the figure. In this case, heart rates during cycling workouts. And then below that table, just put the behind it and then hit enter, I want my actual note. Now the word note should be capitalized, followed by a period, and then you take the italics away. Here's where you actually describe the contents of the figure. So for example, we know it's the mean value graph and that the error bars correspond to standard deviation, but we could have graphed the median value for the bar and then had interquartile range. Your reader doesn't know, so you need to explain that to them. Also, there are some non-standard abbreviations, HR for heart rate, BPM for beats per minute. We need to lay those out. So this is where we describe everything. Okay. So heart, or rather mean, uh, heart rate, HR, in parentheses, values given in beats per minute, BPM, graphed as a function of workout intensity. Okay, now that sentence we define our abbreviations as well as actually tell that hey, we're graphing the mean value and it looks like I did not describe the error bars. So error bars correspond to standard deviation. Okay. It looks like it wants a space for my error bars here under whatever dictionary it's using. And so it's, it's really that simple sort of getting it into APA style. I hope this helps. Good luck.